Hi guys, it's Izzy and I don't think I've ever in my life been more excited to film a video than this one right here. So a little while ago my friend Katie Barnett here on YouTube, I will leave her channel in the description below and she recently uploaded a video called Reverse Contouring and as soon as I watched the video and as soon as I was even just sitting watching it I was like I need to do this myself, like this is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. So as soon as I finished watching the video I literally straight away like DM'd her and I was like Katie <laughs> Can I, can I like copy your video? I'll obviously give you credit and a shout out. So yeah, obviously please, please do check out her channel because she was kind enough to say, yeah, okay, give it a go too. But I am warning you guys, I'm not gonna be able to live up to her video. Like she is so funny. She can make a video about anything and have me in stitches. And I was just crying with laughter watching her. So seriously, if you haven't already watched the video, stop right now. Thank you very much. It's somebody with human touch. But seriously, stop right now. I'm looking at you. Do not watch this video any further unless you've actually watched her video first. Like, seriously, you will literally just die of laughter. She's so funny and she's just amazing and gorgeous. So just please, please, please check out her video now. a little bit of originality Katie did reverse contouring and I've decided because I am the queen of glow and by queen of glow I mean that I put so much on and everyone's like Izzy I can't even look at your face right now you're glowing so much so yeah I decided I would also give highlighter a crack so I'm gonna be doing reverse highlighting aka doing highlighter in all the places you're supposed to contour and all the contour in the places you're supposed to highlight because if you didn't already know contour is supposed to sort of sculpt and shape your face and highlight is supposed to bring out the places that you want to emphasize and make bigger so yeah I'm gonna be messing with the proportions of my face throughout this video also I haven't washed my makeup brushes in this video so please excuse the manky brushes and I have started off with a full face makeup already so that it's just sort of the final base and the final touch to do my makeup just because I wanted to see if this is a look that I can actually pull off so I'm going to start off with the matte highlighter shades but in the places that I would normally contour so I'm just going to go ahead with that I'm going to get my highlight brush I'm going to chisel out my cheekbones I don't know if you can see a difference on camera this would probably work better with a cream contour but I'm just gonna go for it anyway and I'm gonna get product all over me and then I'm gonna use the banana shade to chisel out my jawline and of course it's not going to make it look sharp, it's probably going to make it look a bit blobby. I'm going to go in with the nose highlighter. I'm actually going to be doing this with an eyeshadow brush just because my brushes aren't clean because I don't organise my life properly. And I'm going to just go where I would normally define my nose. I'm just going to highlight instead. And this will really make my nose look nice and big. Perfect. So now I should probably move on to the most dramatic part of this look, the part that's probably going to have the most effect on my face. It's going to be doing the contour, or do I mean highlighter? <laughs> so I'm going to start off with the baking part, with the part that I would normally use the banana colour for, under the eyes. Oh, I really don't want to do this. I mean, the reverse highlighting you can just about get away with. It looks weird, but oh. Ah, <laughs> And then I'm going to go in with another part, I'm going to go and highlight my under brow bone because you guys know I do like to make my brows pop with highlighter. So I'm just going to do the same but with contour. Just really bring out my brow bone. Go again. Under the brow. And now I'm going to go in with the sort of cool toned contour. I'm just going to go over where I would normally highlight, aka my cheekbone, just in between the jaw and there. You know, the little cupid's bow. And then I'm going to get onto the nose highlighter after that. So this is just where I'd normally put my highlighter. I'm going to do in a sort of little C shape.
I'm just going to highlight the inner forehead just a little bit, just add a little bit of glow to the forehead, just to really emphasise where I've highlighted. I'm going to get my buffing brush and I'm just going to blend into the next century with all this. I'm just going to really blend it out, make it look natural. No. Then I'm going to take my favourite thing in the world, the sleek highlighter palette, it's the Soul I can't say the name, and I'm just going to take basically the brightest whitest shade, and I'm just going to put it all over my contour. Thank you very much for watching, I literally can't stop looking at myself in the viewfinder, this is so bizarre, like the face proportions just look so weird. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, I really really hope you've watched Katie's video, have you, have you? And if not, then like last chance, do it now. So yeah, thank you very much Katie for this wonderful, wonderful video idea, I don't know what I'd do without this video idea, I'd be lost without it, like I just need this sort of quality on my channel right now, so yeah, thank you very much. And I hope that you've enjoyed watching. I think I've said that like three times already, but I hope you have. And if you want to check out all my social media accounts, they're in the description below. And yeah, you will see lots of selfies on my Instagram now with this sort of makeup look because I think it's going to be the next big thing. I make new videos every single Wednesday and Sunday at 5pm, so be sure to stick around till then if you want. Obviously, I understand if you don't want more of this content, but yeah, it'd be nice to see you around. So I will see you guys soon. Bye. And my first favorite movie is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I also like Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prison of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry Potter and the half Blood Prince, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part One, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part Two, 